Hello, welcome. So I tested the autofocus performance of the uh, firmware 2.5 with uh, the ubiquitous ubiquitous lens, uh, Sigma 60 millimeter f 1.4 and the Panasonic Lumix 12 to 60, the cheap version, not the Leica version, uh, with f 3.5 to 5.6, if my memory is correct, because I stole that lens. Mm -hmm. So this is with the 12 millimeter, uh, 12 to 60 lens. Um, it's actually a very confident combo. It works really well. Uh, I was really surprised. I noticed already on older firmwares where the G9 supposedly still had autofocus problems that this lens performed quite well. And uh, here it's fairly reliable. It's not perfect. Uh, obviously the picture or image quality is not the best. It's a uh, budget lens and uh, you can see that especially on the skin tones and uh, on the detail but as far as sharpness is concerned here wide open at uh, 12 millimeters it's not bad at all and the reactions with the autofocus are pretty good i suggest that you look at the light in the back there's a circular led light uh, that's easy uh, for spotting pulsing of the autofocus system and notably here, like I'm walking away and the autofocus doesn't lose me, uh, which is not going to be the same with the Sigma lens later on. Okay, that's the Sigma lens. Uh, oh no, so, sorry. Now we're at 30 millimeters, um, f4.2. You can already see that the picture quality or image quality is a lot softer. Uh, autofocus is still okay. It works fine. Uh, there's little hiccups, but it's not distracting. I don't think you'll be walking around like this anyway. So as I said, I've sold this lens, uh, but I've liked it pretty well, actually. Oh yeah, and right now I'm filming on a Lawa 7.5 millimeter F F2. It's at F2. I'm at ISO 800. And uh, shutter speed at 60, and I'm filming at 30 FPS. Okay, and here we had full length extension, so that was a fun one. We have to do a ninja walk uh, to fit in the frame. <laughs> but it still works, even though it's a little bit slower, but it still works. But you can see the image quality really drops there at 60 millimeters. And now we're on the Sigma lens, uh, wide open at f1.4, 16 millimeters. And this lens has overall quite impressive performance. I bought it specifically for that reason. After seeing reviews way back in the day, around uh, the time of firmware 2.0, and if you look at the light in the background, there's absolutely no pulsing. The autofocus is really confident. Uh, the performance was way better than before. And the eye autofocus is always dead on. That's really uh, quite amazing, like quite surprising, uh, considering where we've been with this camera before. So it does lose me, however, when I turn the back to the camera and walk backwards, uh, walk to the back of the room, uh, it does lose me. So, um, by the way, if you're wondering, uh, the sound is recorded with a Lewitt LCT 140, that's a pen condenser mic. Uh, studio mic and it's recorded straight into the camera without any official XLR accessory. So if you want to see more about that, if you're interested in audio and other ways than using the normal video microphones, then I suggest you so subscribe and uh, have a look at what's coming up because I'm going to do a video about that. Yeah, the product show works. Uh, obviously, it's slow if you've seen footage of uh, a7 III or uh, the other Sony cameras. It's not quite as fast, or even Canon cameras. Let's not be racist, but it's uh, fast enough. Here are some low light examples, and believe it or not, the camera actually tracked my daughter running there. I believe I shot this at ISO 3200. Vertical shutter speed 30 frames per second. Uh, this is the uh, ISO 3200, and uh, here it's having trouble. That's a view of uh, Macau, 
from uh, mainland China. I'm in Zhuhai, China. So here you are. We're in Zhuhai, and in the back there, all those buildings, that's Macau. And here I did a test with uh, a shutter speed of 1 over 30 at 30 FPS. And I, I managed to lower the ISO to 1600. Although the difference is not huge, I would say. And of course, that's all shot in autofocus. I think here we're at ISO 1600 now. Uh, vertical shot of speed, so uh, 1 over 60. And it's pretty confident, like it's completely usable as far as I'm concerned. Unless maybe I'm trying to shoot the next Oscar deserving movie, which I'm not capable of at all. And I am getting some flicker there. If you have any tips on how to get rid of that, let me know. But the autofocus works great, in my opinion. I did manage to mess it up though. Uh, I think that's the next scene. Yeah, so on this one, I'm panning over to the street and the autofocus goes haywire. So you can admire the beautiful bokeh of the Sigma lens. And on the second attempt, then it got it. And for the last shot, uh, that's going to be my daughter. Um, I was just wanting to see if I move closer in, if it keeps the focus on her face, and it absolutely does. So yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching.